In this video, we're going to try and prove this identity. It's very useful when you get to about 16 years old-ish. So consider a circle of radius 1. So from here to here would be 1. From here to here would be 1. Um, try and work out the area of this triangle. So, uh, so when you look at the sector, this is our sector here. This is radius, radius of 1. This is radius of 1. And the angle here is theta. Uh, when you cut across the uh, the sector it will form a triangle so now to work out the area of this triangle we would cut it down the middle like this and uh, this here would be a right angle triangle uh, work out the area of uh, of this triangle here so let's let's try and work out from here to here so let's call it x so you can see that um, well this angle here is theta so half of that so this angle here, so this angle here would be theta over two, half of it. So, uh, so you, then you would use sine. So sine the angle. The angle happens to be theta over two because it's half of the angle. Equals x over one, which is x. So this length here. So, uh, so this length here from here to here is sine theta over two. And now let's try and work out um, this length from here to here. Well, that would be cos. So you would say cos the angle equals, uh, let's call this length here x, x over, over this length here, which is 1. So x over 1, which is x. So you can see that, um, you can see that uh, this length here is cos theta over 2. So to work out this triangle here, you would get this times this that will give you a rectangle well that rectangle this area here would be the same as this so basically the area of the whole triangle is given by this multiply with this so the area of the triangle would be sine half of the angle e uh, and then times cos half of the angle that would give you the area of this uh, of this triangle here which is this triangle here. Now work out the, um, the area of that same triangle, which happens to be this, but using a different method. And then we can set the two to be the same as each other. You see what I mean later. So let's, let's go back to the beginning. Looking at the sector here, looking at the sector here, you would cut across it to form a triangle. This angle here, remember, is theta. Um, remember that this is a circle of radius 1, so this is 1, this is 1. Now, let's work out the area of this triangle. Earlier, we worked it out by cutting it down the middle like this, but now let's use a different method. The different method is that if you, if you can work out the height of this, this triangle, then you can just times by the base and then divide it by 2. So, to work out the area of the triangle, let's just work out this height. Let's just call the height x. So that would be... This height x here would be sine the angle. So this is the whole angle, not half, okay? This is sine the, uh, the whole angle. Um, hang on, let's, let me just write it as uh, sine the angle. Sine the angle equals x over 1, which is just x. So basically, this height here is sine the angle, sine theta. So when you got the height as being sine theta, then get the height times the base, that will then give you the whole rectangle and then you cut it in half to get the area of the triangle. So, so the area of this triangle would be sine, sine theta, which is a height, times a base, which is one, and then divided by and then divided by two. That is the area of this triangle here, which is the area of this. So now we can set this thing to be the same as this. So so now this triangle here is the same as this triangle here so we can set the two to be the same as each other sine theta over two okay so now times both sides by by two because that that's this two here so times both sides by two so that will then give you this sine theta over two cos half of the angle equals sine theta Okay, so so now, um, earlier we had something like this, hang on, cut across here, that will give you the, the, um, the triangle. Remember, earlier, this here is 
theta over two, theta over two. So when when you get to here, you can make this simpler by saying, well, this angle here, which is theta, is always twice the size of this angle here. So you, you can see that theta here is always twice the size of theta over two. So from here, you can actually change the um, the the identity to saying. If you have like sine double the angle, then this can become the normal angle, if that even makes sense. Uh, hang on. So this will be, uh, this will be theta and two. So what, what this is saying is that this angle here is always twice the size of these two angles here, which is the same as this thing here. And by the way, this is exactly the same as this, because look, sine two theta, sine two theta equals two sine theta cos theta. So that's where it comes from, okay?